Hi everyone, this is Kevin. Um, this is my one-inch Marquee traction engine. It's a beautiful engine, as you can see. It's one of my favorites, obviously. Uh, but I've always wished that it had a drain valve on it to drain the water out of the boiler. It's really difficult to drain the water out, and you'll see why that is in a minute. Uh, so I'm going to make some uh, major modifications to the plumbing and install a boiler blowdown valve so that we can get the water out more easily. Uh, it's going to involve some uh, disassembly, and I'm going to try to show as much of that as possible as we go along. Uh, the first thing will be to remove most of the back end of the engine so that we can access the boiler back head. And I'm going to get started now. I'll be back in a while. Most of the hard work done. Uh, so I'll show you around the, the waterworks of the engine. Of course, this is the belly tank here. There's a, a manual pump inside there that pumps water out this pipe, and you can open that valve to pump it into the boiler. This tube goes into the boiler. And there's a mechanical pump on the end of the crankshaft, which of course drives the ram in there, which pumps water out of the same belly tank up through, and you can open this valve, and it will pump water, again, down that pipe. You can barely see. Down here, there's a T there, and then this goes off into the boiler. That's the only way of getting water into the boiler. And we'll move around to the back. And you can see that pipe comes up through this uh, check valve here, a one-way valve, into the back head of the boiler. And then there's a water glass here, a sight glass, and there's a T at the top of the boiler. That's where the steam comes out. And that tees off to the pressure gauge here, and then this pipe goes forward through here to the valve, uh, which goes into the engine. So there's no way to get water out of this engine. That's a one-way valve. You can't get water out of that. And this is just the steam valve. Um, all along, what I've been doing to get the water out is to, to undo the pressure gauge and then open up some uh, vent at the top to let air get in, open up the valve works, and then tip the engine up on its back and the water comes out that T. That's pretty much the only way to get it out. Okay, now I'm obviously very reluctant to make any uh, permanent modifications to the engine. I, the last thing I want to do is unsolder anything from the boiler. I don't, I don't have uh, hard soldering or silver soldering ability anyway. So what the plan is, I'm going to uh, open up the check valve here and take the little shuttle out. That'll disable the check valve and allow water to flow both ways. And then farther up on the water pipe here, I'm going to cut this water pipe and make some modifications. I'm going to install a T. Um, and then add a new check valve a little bit farther up. And on this T, I'm going to add a valve which will lead to the blowdown pipe, so I can open that and water will come out of the boiler and then shoot out the, uh, the blowdown pipe. It's probably also going to involve relocating some of these valves. I don't think I have enough space to work down here. Remember, the wheel is going to be here. That's going to be enormous. Um, so I'll probably shift both of these valves a little bit farther up and add the third blowdown valve somewhere around here. So so this is what the marquee looks like now. It's just a, nothing but a big pile of bits. And I've got the important bit that I need to change out right here. This is the, the manual pump that was inside the belly tank, and this is the, the automatic pump that's on the crankshaft end, and the valves. And hopefully I can do this entire modification just by changing this pipe. Um, of course, I, I need to change these pipes as well to shift the valves up, but I, I'm not going to uh, modify any of the major components. Okay, all the bending and soldering and cutting is done now, and it's pretty much back together. I had hoped to show more of that in the video, but I kind of got carried away, and I, I had to, to cut and bend all the pipes as I assembled it, so it all went together uh, without uh, much video, obviously. Anyway, here it is. I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit and show what I've done. So that pipe that I wanted to change uh, is now this assembly. Uh, it comes from the T valve from the two, the T junction from the two water tank valves uh, down to this check valve, which is a ball and spring type arrangement inside. And then there's a T off uh, ahead of that, which comes around to this valve. So this is going to be the blowdown valve. And I know this, it doesn't look so nice um, how it is now, but that's all going to be behind the wheel anyway. And so when the wheel is on, you'll see these three valves. They look like they're all in one, uh, one direct line. Okay, I'm going to put the wheel on and that'll be the last of it. Okay, here it is, all back together. So you can see now there are three valves where there used to be just two. Uh, this one, of course, is the, the valve to open the water from the mechanical pump on the crankshaft end. It drives that ram back and forth. And then this valve is from the, the hand pump inside. And here's the blowdown valve underneath. So they look, it doesn't look so bad uh, with the wheel back on. And I've, I've bent the little pipe here. I don't know quite what to do with the steam that's going to come out of this thing. Uh, I'm open to suggestions, of course. Right now it's going to blow kind of onto the ground and maybe a bit out the other side. Well, we'll see what happens. So I'm going to take it outside and steam it up and, well, see what happens, I guess. 
Okay, then here's the moment of truth. The engine is up and running. I'm going to turn off the gas and it'll come to a stop and open the blowdown valve and see what happens. And there it is. Perfect. Success. Well, I couldn't be much more chuffed than I am right now. <laughs>